hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video we will learn how to take radio medical advice so let us proceed further radio medical advice can be taken by two ways so let us see what are these two ways the first one is radio telegraphy radio telegraphy means mailing system which we use on board and the other uh, type to obtain radio medical advice is by radio telephone that is direct contacting the doctor or some authority so now we are clear with this how to obtain radio medical advice but now the question arises whom to contact we know whether we uh, when whether we can send mails or by telephone we can call them but whom should we contact so let us see whom should we contact so the first person or you can say uh, whom we can contact is worldwide services second is mrcc that is maritime rescue coordination center third is telemedical advice services and the details of all this three can be found in a publication called as ALRS Volume 1 and there will be ITU list of coast station and special service station in that also you can find the detail of all this so now let us see what is the fourth one so fourth is advice from nearby ships which have doctor on board so you can take radio medical advice from them otherwise the fifth is CIRM to read CIRM you start from IRM and then go to C so IRM it is nothing but international radio medical and then you go to C that is center so international radio medical center and its headquarters are in Rome Italy and it's free of cost and the details of the CRM CIRM whom you want to contact is given in publication called as ALRS volume 1 so this CIRM is basically free and it's 24 hours available so you can call them and take radio medical advice so sixth thing is you can use the two digit code in Inmarsat system that is satellite A, sat A, sat B and sat C so in this they have a two digit code for faster uh, calling and to save the time so 32 if you directly dial 32 so you can take a medical advice and if you dial 38 you uh, you will be uh, taking medical assistance so these are the two digit code so this was all about how you take radio medical advice but only knowing these things is not at all enough there are some other things to do which are as equally important as these are so let us see what are the other things we should take into consideration things to do now before calling before calling to any authority or taking radio medical advice you should prepare yourself unless it is an emergency in an emergency you directly call them but if it is not an emergency then you have to prepare yourself by the points which are listed below so the first point is fill the form given in IMGS and keep it ready so IMGS is a publication international medical guide for ships published by WHO so it has a form so let us see what is the form we should fill that form and keep it ready before calling so let us see the form so this is the form forms to be used in communicating to a doctor information about a patient's illness or injury so if a patient is ill so you have to fill the part a of the form and if he is injured then you have to fill the part b of the form so in case of illness that is a part a form you the ship's information then the patient's information details of illness then results of examination of patient diagnosis treatment you have given and any other problems and other comments so this was form a and form b is 
in case of injury and the details are same the ship information patient information then uh, type of injury history of injury then examination treatment you have given and the problems fa faced by you and whatever advice you need and the other comments so this was the two forms uh, which are required to be filled depending on whether he is ill or whether he is injured so this is very much clear now let us go to another thing that is always keep pen and paper standby before calling because he may tell us anything so we have to note it down so this is the second thing let us see the next thing inventory of medicines we know that the person we whom we are calling the doctor or the authority whom we are calling they don't know how what is the inventory of our medicines so if he guides us that you give the patient this medicine so we should have a inventory of medicines standby so that we immediately refer and tell them that yes we have this medicines or we don't have this medicines so that is why keeping the in inventory list standby is very important then other thing is recording of conversation that is tape recorder or sound recorder or any other electrical equipment which records the conversation so if this is possible so you should do this also so that there is less chance of any misunderstanding so this was all the important things which you should prepare yourself before calling to the before taking the radio medical advice now let us see some general things so the general things are always provide the doctor with all the pro possible information of the patient then repeat back the advice given by the doctor this seems to be like a closed loop communication to avoid any misunderstanding that is why you should always repeat back the advice of the doctor third thing is if there is a language problem many a times there is a language problem so either you use translator and let's say if your ship doesn't have uh, the uh, the internet so you cannot use translator so other than this you can use interco so this will clear the misunderstanding and the language problem and re always refer ships captain medical guide and the annexes which are there for medical terms like medical terms like we, we have bones so all the bones in our human body have different names so it's easy to spell the uh, bones uh, by seeing this annexes so that it's easy for the uh, other authority to understand what you are going to tell so this was this was about the things to do now the this was only for the radio medical advice that is the person require is injured or he is ill so it's not an emergency or he is not going to die it, we are just taking advice from them but what we will do if a person is very serious condition he is going to die or something so let us see what we should do so we should do evacuation by helicopter and this is done only when the person is in a serious condition only this is the option when he is in serious condition then only you can do evacuation by helicopter now let us see the next point that is use two digit code that is 38 for medical assistance uh, for during evacuation by helicopter or you can contact the nearest maritime rescue coordination center to obtain the evacuation by helicopter you have to request them for evacuation or you can contact local agent if you are in a port other than this you should refer ALRS volume 1 and follow imsr volume 3 for evacuation by helicopter because all the details are given for evacuation by helicopter in this publication als als volume 1 is for, for finding the details and imsr volume 3 as you know that it all the procedure is given how for carrying out the evacuation by helicopter so this was regarding evacuation by helicopter now let us see some other thing that is ship to ship transfer of patient or doctor so uh, if there is a nearby ship and it has a doctor on board so either you can transfer the patient or you can uh, transfer the doctor so let us see what are the points 
uh, for doing a ship to ship transfer now ship to ship transfer for doing this thing this operation it requires high seamanship skills so it's it's very not not an easy job so it requires high seamanship skills and you can use daylight signaling lamp or vhf to contact the other ship nowadays daylight signaling lamp i have not seen anybody using this other than uh, giving five shot blast so i would recommend vhf as the more main important equipment for contacting the other ship who has a doctor on board so because there are larger ships also and those larger ships require time to stop the ship they have to give notice and a lot of things are involved so you have to use this equipment very uh, precisely and you have to use this early so that there is no time waste other than this you should refer IMGS chapter 25 where you can get more details regarding what to do during ship to ship transfer of patient or doctor so some guidelines more are given is in IMGS chapter 25 so this was all about uh, how to obtain radio medical advice then helicopter evacuation and this is ship to ship transfer of patient or doctor so guys that was all it if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and tell me how you felt about this video thanks for watching guys